Hello, I'm Murray Voss. I'm the Technical Manager at Safer Group. Today I'm going to give you some information about the Australian and New Zealand standard, the ASNZS 5532. This standard is in particular to do with the manufacture of anchor points. It's critical that we understand this standard in relation to the insulation of anchor points. In particular, I'm referring to the surface mount type of anchors, which is riveted to the roof sheets. This is in relation to all surface mounted type anchors, not only the safer range of anchors. Prior to the ASNZS 5532 standard coming out, there was the AS8091.4 standard, which particularly referred to anchors and their strength requirements being 15 kilonewtons and 21 kilonewtons, but did not have any testing criteria. Anchors have evolved and have been designed to attach to lighter gauge structures, Therefore, it's important to come up with a testing criteria for these types of anchors. In the past, anchors have been designed and rated, but not considering the structure to which it's attached. The AS5532 standard has taken into account the anchor in its installed state, so that the testing of the anchor and the roof structure to which it's attached. This is very important part for surface mount type anchors. This standard also stipulates that the anchors must be tested on various roof types that it might be used on, so one test doesn't suit all structure types. Depending on the different types of, of roof material, each test must be done in accordance with that roof type material. The ASNZS 5532 standard has four main testing procedures for surface mounted anchors. The first test is a dynamic load. The dynamic load test is a 100 kilogram mass dropped 2 meters which equates to 15 kilonewtons of dynamic load onto the anchor and the structure and then this is done in line with the roof deck. The second test is a static load test of 1530 kilograms or again 15 kilonewtons but pulled on the anchor and held for 3 minutes. This is a very important test as it has to do with the anchor and the performance in conjunction with the roof deck structure. So it's testing the performance of the anchor in its installed state. The third test is the same as the first in that it's 15 kilonewton dynamic load, but then tested in the other direction. So the roof sheet is then turned and tested across the roof deck. The fourth test is then the same test as test two, which is a static load of 15 kilonewtons in the other direction as well, so again in the in the 90 degree direction to the first test. Every anchor and roof structure type must have these four tests done and all perform satisfactorily before it can be claimed to conform to the AS5532 standard. The rating of an anchor point to 15 kilonewtons is important to understand that the anchor is rated to 15 kilonewtons and the roof structure. That's why these tests are so important. The reason why most surface anchors are only rated to 15 and not 21 kilonewtons is that it would mean that the roof structure would also need to withstand 21 kilonewtons, which is approximately equivalent to 2,100 kilograms or 2.1 tons. Most roof decks are not capable of taking this huge load. So the anchor may be rated to 21 kilonewtons, but in its installed state, that is with the structure underneath, the, it's the structure that will possibly fail, not so much the anchor. 21 kilonewtons is not necessary for the requirement of rescue. If the anchor is tested to the static load requirements after the dynamic test on the same anchor that's already tested, then the anchor can be used for rescue. This is the case with all safer surface mount anchors. We always test the static load after the dynamic load has been performed on the same anchor and same roof deck system. This ensures that a rescue can be performed of an anchor that has already taken a full rest situation. You must make sure that the anchors you install can perform a rescue of the same anchor. All surface mount anchors use the roof sheet as the main substrate to take the loads as the roof sheet acts like a diaphragm and spreads the 15 kilonewtons across the purlins. 
but it's important to understand that it's critical this roof sheet has to take 15 kilonewtons of shear load. So, with reference to 15 kilonewtons and roof sheet taking these loads, clip fix roofs are only clipped down and not physically fixed into the purlins. When installing an anchor on these type of roofs, you must understand that huge forces are involved. 15 kilonewtons is approximately 1.5 tons. Are you sure that your roof sheet will take these loads? How do you know that the clip fix roof sheet will not just slide off if a fall did occur? It must be understood that in most cases the anchor or roof should be screwed through to the purlin beneath to stop the roof sheet from sliding. The other point to note is that some clip fix roof sheets do not have a full lap. So where the anchor is riveted is critical. The rivet may not have gone through two thicknesses of roof sheet. If it is riveted on the lap, depending on the way it is fixed, it could be that if that anchor is put under tension, it could cause the roof sheet to unclip or delaminate. It's very important to understand this when installing an anchor. With the safer range of surface mount anchors, all anchors have been tested to the requirements of the ASNZS5532 standards, in that they have been tested in both directions on virtually all roof deck systems available. The anchor has also been tested for rescue situation after a fall has occurred, so the anchor can be used for rescue from the same anchor. That is, if someone is already suspended in a fall arrest situation, you can still then send someone else to rescue off that anchor. The other advantage of our 360 anchor plate, because it's a bigger plate spread over two ribs, there's less chance of roof deck delamination or, or unclipping and a better roof deck performance due to less point load and more spread load. All our surface mount anchors have a swivel attachment which gives an even load to the roof sheet structure. It also eliminates the potential of roll out issues where the snap hook could be activated accidentally and the swivel then eliminates this issue. So remember these loads, 15 kilonewtons, 1.5 tons, these are huge loads and correct insulation is imperative in order to save a life. When you install your anchor point next time, are you sure that the way you've installed it will take these loads? If someone takes a fall, will that person be saved? Installers have an equal duty of care to ensure the fall arrest systems are installed correctly, as these systems are to save lives. There are no shortcuts when a life is dependent on your actions. Last of all, we save lives. Make sure you do too. Thank you all.